Hey, this is Melanie Mitro, and I am here to talk to you today about how to use iMovie in order to create videos for social media. So iMovie has been a godsend to me and ease of creating videos. I used to use my phone all the time to make YouTube videos, and then I would just upload them to One True Media. But now that I have a Mac, which is worth the investment, you can create movies so easily. So one of the first things that you do when you go to iMovie is you're going to go to Create. And from there, you're going to pick Movie. When you choose Movie, you can pick a theme. Now, I, you know, you can pick anything that you want. So say you pick Neon and you hit Create. And you're going to give it a title. And you're going to hit OK. That's going to take you back to this screen right here. The next thing you want to do is go to Import. And from there, you can choose one of two options. So you can do FaceTime or you can upload something. So you can choose like your device if you have your phone plugged in or your desktop if you want to upload something that you have on your computer. And this is where you can do it at. So right here is where you go and record your video. So you're going to hit this button in the middle and you're going to start recording. And you can just start talking, do your little video. Whenever you're done with your video, you hit the button. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to hit close. When you hit close, it's going to give you that video clip right here in this selected area. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, so once you're here, you can literally take the part that you want. So say you've made four or five clips and so you've done a couple of retakes but you just want the last one because that was the best one. You're literally going to highlight it and you're going to just kind of drag it across. See? And then you're going to run your hand back over it and you're going to drag it down right there and it's going to pull all of that down for you. Now, that's where you, this bottom part is where you can edit and change things up a little bit. So right here you say it says Melanie Mitro. This is your title slide. So if you double click the Melanie Mitro, you can change it to whatever you would like it to be. And then when you go over here and you click down here, you can actually click on it. You can just start talking, do your little video. There you go. Whenever you're right? done. And so you can change the length of your welcome. You want to make it shorter. You just do that. You know. And you now look, start talking, goes away a little bit faster. Talking, do your little and so say you want to add in some titles. You can go to the title slide. And here you have all these different options. So say you want to do pixie dust. And you just kind of drag it down here and turn off the automatic content. And again, you can put a title in there. There you go. And now it's in there. So say next you want to maybe have something go across the bottom. If you want to have like an edge, a torn edge, you can drag that down. There it goes. Double click on it and you can write anything you want in there. And then you maybe want to put something at the end. You can do that too and you can just keep going through and you can change it up. You can go through here and you can, you know, you can edit it and you can choose certain parts of it and you can delete it out or do whatever you want with it. And then when you're done, you go up here you click share, you go to YouTube, and right there you can choose, do you want it to be private, which means nobody else but you can see it? Do you want it to be unlisted, which means you have to give somebody the link in order for them to view it? Or public means that everybody can see it as long as they know your YouTube channel. And you can change the description in here as well. So if you wanna change and say this video, you know, whatever you want it to be, then you can put in your tags and you are done. And once you're done, it will ask you to publish it. And once you publish it, you click publish, you'll notice that this little wheel up at the top right hand corner is going to start to spin. And that means that your video is being published. And when it's done, a little pop-up box will come up and it'll say, would you like to view it? And you can go to your YouTube channel and view your video. And that is how I make all of my videos. I sit right in front of my computer and do them all, you know, wherever I need to do. And it makes my life so much easier. And I hope that this helps you with navigating through YouTube.
don't have a 